Now it's a problem threatening dozens of homes in Tarpon Springs and one that could only get worse if sea levels keep rising. High tides have caused local bayous to overflow in some places a couple times a year. And today the city is planning to hold a public meeting to talk about its plan to fix one of those spots. ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills joins us live now from Tarpon Springs with why neighbors are ready for a fix. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, guys. Well, for neighbors on this edge of Whitcomb Bayou, flooding, frequent flooding, is something they live with reluctantly year-round. It's such a problem that the city of Tarpon Springs leaves these signs out here at this intersection as a proactive measure, knowing that flooding can come at any time. John Keenan loves living in Tarpon Springs, just steps from Whitcomb Bayou. I've been here five, six years, and uh, you know, have uh, done a number of improvements to the home and tend to stick around. But there's a problem here that does worry him at times. Flooding from the bayou, a problem that can seem random and sudden and one that threatens his home near the corner of MLK Drive and Spring Boulevard. How often? Well, it happens more during the, uh, you know, the storm season, the hurricane season, in terms of any time we get a, you know, a strong onshore wind coupled with high tide, uh, this this intersection will flood um, pretty extensively. You can see his home in this picture from one of the past periods of flooding. And it will, if you look at my yard there, it will extend to all the way up into the circular driveway there. But now the city hopes to fix the problem here. In the first phase of a new project, it wants to repair this intersection to make traffic flow better and the flooding less severe. In a second phase, it wants to look broader at other flood prone spots on the bayou to see how it can help improve those spots too. And the city wants neighbors input in a meeting Wednesday night at 5 p.m. It's happening at the Craig Park Recreation Hall at 5 Beekman Lane. If there was something that they could do to, you know, elevate this area. Keenan, meanwhile, hopes the fix will work to stop this from happening as often. Keenan tells me even though his property value is soaring upward right now because of the market, he worries that if this problem is left unfixed, property values here could drop in the future. Live in Tarpon Springs, Chad Mills, ABC Action News.